Hello, I'm Dr. Frances Pitsilis. When I went to medical school, the professor said to us, don't miss the modern medical mimic. Tuberculosis. But today, in my view, the modern medical mimic is disordered breathing. Do you know someone who's been short of breath, got tingling in their hands, get a headache, uh, nightmares, irritable bowel, sudden episodes of fatigue? Well, they are some of the symptoms of disordered breathing or hyperventilation syndrome. These days, when people are living a more stressful life, it's easier for them to slip into the sort of breathing that you do when you're feeling at risk and you feel like you're a caveman and the tiger's jumping out at you from the jungle. So we tend to start breathing instead of our abdomen into our upper chest and that causes biochemical changes and then we get all these symptoms. Now, in addition to all of this, this can be part of a, a, a set of symptoms that people come to me when they have chronic illnesses that can include sleep disturbance, I've mentioned fatigue, even pain can be caused by this condition. Now this condition can cause five different types of chest pain. You can feel like you're out of your body. We call that depersonalization. You can get brain fog. You can get uh, memory problems cognition, thinking problems, uh, you can get acid reflux, post-nasal drip. I even had one patient that was hospitalised for a stroke, but she hadn't had a stroke and she had a normal brain scan. So disordered breathing or hyperventilation can be part of a collection of symptoms for a chronic illness person, or it can be a standalone diagnosis for someone who's had a lot of chronic symptoms but has not got any help from doctors because they just don't think of this condition. So what's very important is to think of this condition. Now when thinking of this condition, what's also important is that the doctor makes sure that the patient doesn't have indeed a serious disorder. So that when I diagnose this, I will check and I will know beforehand that they've had all the important things checked and ticked off first. Now, this condition was first discovered by an American doctor called Dr. DaCosta, and he called it irritable, irritable heart, and it was during the American Civil War when the young soldiers were getting chest pain from hyperventilation. Um, at one stage, it was called DaCosta's syndrome, but now we call it hyperventilation syndrome. It's more common in women. About 1 in 12 people get this, so it's very common. And I remember on one particular day, I had to pinch myself because I diagnosed it three times. So this is how common it is. So as I mentioned, it is very important not to miss an important diagnosis. But once you know that all of these have been excluded, then getting some help with a breathing therapist and looking at your stress management can be very helpful.